hello viewers welcome to my channel myself sultan today we will see in this video how to set up snapchat purchase event on our website so let's go how to do that in the beginning i am requesting you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for get more updates this is my website i'm going to set up purchase event for snapchat on this website with Google Tag Manager and this is my Snapchat business account. At first, what we have to do is go to Google Tag Manager preview mode. I am already in the preview mode. So let's purchase a product from our website and see what happens on Google Tag Assistant. So let's purchase a product. Okay, add to card it and then go to view card. I'm going to purchase these three products okay. then check out fill in the blanks with requirements I'm going to fill it then place order thank you your order has been received that means our purchase is complete let's go to tag assistant and see here in the left menu there are an event named purchase click here and you will see then an event name purchase so we have to create a trigger using this event so go to google tag manager and click here trigger then click new and then name it snapchat purchase trigger then click trigger configuration and select from here custom event and then event name will be uh, this purchase copy it and then paste here okay then save the trigger is ready then go to tags and then click new and name after this tag snapchat purchase tag then click tag configuration and select from here snap pixel and give here pixel id click on plus icon select snapchat pixel id and event type will be purchase then user email click on plus icon and select from here snapchat user email and then user email hash and user phone number we haven't created in previous video uh, any variable for phone number but for the purchase event we have to create this then click plus icon and again click here plus icon and name it snapchat phone number and then click here variable configuration and select from here data layer variable and go to your tag assistant and after selecting purchase event go to data layer you will find here water data so find out water data and from here you will get phone number here is the phone number so we are going to create this variable first of all copy your water data and then copy customer and then copy billing and then copy phone number now go to google tag manager and paste here at first water data then dot then paste customer then dot then paste billing dot and then phone then save and then price for purchase event the price will be the variable that we have created in the checkout event uh, in a previous video so click on uh, plus icon and select from here snapchat value and then item category select from item select here item category and then item ids for this purchase event we have to uh, give here uh, custom javascript snapchat item ids because an user can uh, purchase more than one products if we want to collect item ids of that items then we have to use this variable okay then currency snapchat currency the number of items snapchat number of items and then transaction id transaction id we haven't created any variable for transaction id so we're gonna create it now click on plus icon and again click on plus icon and then name it snapchat transaction id okay then click variable configuration and select here data layer go to again tag assistant 
and you will get here an a transaction id for your uh, purchase okay we have to copy here first e-commerce and then copy transaction id go to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot transaction id then click save then description according to snapchat documents the description of purchase event will be event type purchase and description track purchases so uh, right here track purchases then select your trigger the trigger we have created uh, a while ago snapchat purchase trigger okay then save now it's time to check it the tag is implemented on our website properly or not so again go to preview mode debugger is connected then go to tag assistant and click here continue let's purchase some products from this website add to card it add to card it also also add to card it then go to view card and then check out fill in the blanks with requirements okay it's already filled then place an order order has been received then go to tag assistant and notice here that snapchat purchase event is fired one times so we can say our tag is implemented on our website properly if you select here purchase and go to variables then you will see variable data received from your website like uh, purchase value price transaction id uh, snapchat phone number every data that we have select in our tag it will appear here and now we have to check it also in our snapchat business account but in snapchat events manager the data takes one hour to be updated so we have to wait sometimes for uh, getting this data in our events manager after a few hours i am going to snapchat events manager to check it that our purchase event data is coming to this events manager or not so let's go to events manager then go to view pixel details and scroll down and see here pixel events purchase so our purchase event data is coming to snapchat events manager that means our tag is properly implemented on our website so that's it today if you need any help or if you have any question or suggestion or if you have any doubt about any part of this video then don't hesitate to write down in the comment box i will really appreciate your questions and suggestions and if you need any service about google ads facebook ads google tag manager google analytics facebook pixel conversion api and server side tracking then i am a freelancer working on fiverr and working also on upwork if you need any service, you can place an order on Upwork or on Fiverr as you wish. Or otherwise, you can contact me directly out of Marketplace in this WhatsApp number and in this Gmail. So don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always ready to help you. So that's it today. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.